I'll kick you so hard up your fanny, <laughs> it'll end up on your face. <laughs> oh, sorry, excuse me, it already has. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, God. I'm going riding with my family. <laughs> We've got a pony? No, yeah, Hank is a pony. I've got a horse. How big is it? Oh, God. You don't say, how big is it, when you're talking about horses. You say, how many hands is it, please? How many hands is it, please? No. How many hands is it? Please. <laughs> How many hands? <laughs> 16 hands, thank you for asking. Oh. Why? What are you doing this weekend? I'm going to serve my boyfriend. <gasps> Does your mum know? Yeah. Oh. She doesn't know his parents are going away, though. You know contraception? Yeah. What is it then? Oh, well, if you're asking me, that must mean you're going to do it. You're going to have it off, aren't you? <laughs> you're going to have it off. You're going to do it. Well, it's a good thing you've asked me because I know about contraception. First thing you need for contraception is a lot of towels. <laughs> and get dark ones because they're going to get covered in muck. <laughs> and you go up to the parents' bedroom, you take off the duvet, and you put the towels all over the bed and all over the floor. And then you get on the bed and you have it off. <laughs> How do you know when you're having it off? Oh, God. Have you ever seen a man's toilet parts or not? Not. Right, a man has got three dangly toilet parts. <laughs> and the... Yeah, the middle one is the important one. <laughs> And when he wants to have it off, it stands up. It's about that big. <laughs> and it's got all spikes coming off it. <laughs> and it looks like a cactus. <laughs> and he calls it his todger. <laughs> and when he wants to have it off, it stands to attention like that. And that's a signal for you to get on the bed and open your legs a little bit like that. <laughs> and wait for the egg to come. <laughs> What, like a period? No, no, no! Do you know about the four holes or not? not? Right, you've got four holes. Two holes in your back bottom, two holes in your front bottom. The two holes in your back bottom, one's for pooing, one's for weeing. Two holes in your front bottom, one's for the period, the other one is for the egg. <laughs> and the egg is trying to get out down the front hole. It's about that big normally, the egg. <laughs> it's trying to get out down the front hole there, but it can't get out because there's a piece of skin there called a hymen. Like a rubbery piece of skin, like a trampoline. It's bouncing the egg back up like that. So the man's got to break the hymen. By now, the todge is about that big. And it's got a torch coming out the end of it. And it's looking for the hymen, looking for the hymen. And the man puts it in and it goes bashing into it and bashing and thumping and crashing into it until it breaks and a lot of green slime comes out. 
and there's all blood and foam all over the towels and the egg drops out onto the towels. That's how you know you're having an organism. Because <laughs> your eyes are going like that. So you've got to scrape it all, all the egg and the blood and the foam and the slime into the towels and put it in the toilet. You'll never believe what happens next, you'll never believe it. I couldn't believe it till I saw it myself. By now, the todger is that big, <laughs> right? And the man takes it away and he goes, oh my God, oh my God. And the top of the todger opens up like that. And 5,000 million trillion fish come jumping out of the top of it. And they're jumping off the ceiling, off the walls, they're all over the floor. And you've got to scrape it all into the towels and put it in the toilet. <laughs> and you mustn't let the fish get near the egg because that's how you get pregnant. <laughs> what, well, the fish, the fish just die then? Yeah, then toilet, yeah. If there's any fish left on the floor just flapping around like that, you just get them by the tail and you get a big bat and you bash them! And bash and bash and bash until there's all fish gills and eyes and teeth all over the floor. You scrape it all that out and put it in the toilet. <laughs> it really hurts. <laughs> but you don't mind because you're like so in love. It's like a really pleasurable experience. <laughs>